Hey Wookiees, it's your boy Ant and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Y'all seen that thumbnail and y'all read that title. Today we are doing my worst hairstylist slash client from hell, okay? Now y'all seen that last video. <sighs> I quit doing hair. <gasps> Boom, 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 you feel me? I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, y'all. I had to make a decision. It's either I'm gonna keep sitting here sacrificing hundreds and thousands, hundreds and thousands of dollars. I said I was quitting here, but however, I'm just putting a little pause in it. You know, I'm taking a mental break. Look, I'm I'm focusing on me, you know. I'm trying to get my mental together. I'm trying to, you know, stay consistent for my content with y'all. However, once upon a time not long ago, you know, when I was doing hair, I did a style for style. It's just when two hairstylists, you know, I style you, you style me. But however, she played in my head and I played in her head. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go ahead and get your snots, get your pop going, like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that post notification bell. Let's go to clock that T. Let's wake it up. Cause yeah. Hey y'all so boom. I got the messages right here. I'm looking at them because you know I want to make sure. I get everything right. So, Bookies, she texted me and she was like, hey. I said, hey, back. And she was like, I seen you posted yourself and, you know, I actually want to try this style. So, basically, back, you know, when I was doing hair or whatever, you know, on my hair page, I didn't really, like, post myself because, you know, as a hairstylist, you, you, your main focus is the hair. You're not really focused on, like, oh, how you look because it don't matter. They're paying you for your services, not for your beauty. You feel me? So, boom, she sent me the picture and I'm going to put the picture on the screen. I was like, okay, you know, that's cute. Because I feel like, you know, Buki, y'all can agree with me. That's cute. Like, that's a cute style, you know, on that person. Y'all gonna see what I walked out with in a second. She said, yes, yeah, the chrome heart stitch braids. And she said, you know, would you be open to model that? So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm down to do service. service and, you know, I've been doing really good with wigs. So I feel like I'm gonna eat. You know, yeah. So she said, cool, you know, now you're speaking my language. Can I see? You know, I sent her the picture. She said she liked it. I told her what is available. She told me what is she available. She asked where I was located. I told her my location, you know. Cool, boom, bada bing, bada bing. And I'm gonna say this so that, you know, it can make sense later on. I told her the wig was 13 by four, right? For those who don't know, wigs come in 13 by four, 13 by six, four by four, two by two, two by six, two by 13. Like, that's just like, you know, how much lace. So let me show y'all. I only have an example of a 13 by um, four. So this is pretty much just the same type of, you know, wig that I have for her. So you see the lace, like, the lace, you're not really getting, like, and you're not really getting that much lace with this one. And then this wig is kind of already used on somebody. But, like, with a 13 by, like, 6, you know, that's more used for more, like, you know, people with, like, bigger head size. So, you know, just know I told her that it was 13 by 4. So, like, yeah. So, boom, now we can skip ahead, skip ahead. I want to say the day came or whatever, but mind you, she tried to tell me, oh, she could come at four. I told her 5.30. This girl got hit at five o'clock. If monkey in the middle was a person, it would be her. Cause how I tell you 5.30, you tell me four, you get hit at five. Girl, you just, you just want to be in the middle. But I guess, you know, you want to be on time, cool, mind you. But it's like, I don't want to just leave you sitting outside cause you got hit early. But it's like, I'm not ready. Like, you know, I just got a house, you know, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to, you know, get everything situated, you know, make sure everything nice and, you know, neat. And, you know, just make sure it was up to par, you know, to do hair. I let her in or whatever. I'm like, who going first, me or you? And she was like, you know, I can do you first. I can get you out of the way right quick. I'm like, all right, bet. So I asked her, mind you, before she even got hair, while we was texting, I'm like, do you want me to, like, wash my hair, blow dry, you know, like, are you going to do that, like, you know, like, what services are you providing? What services do I need to already provide myself? She was like, you know, just wash your hair, detangle it. I'm going to blow dry it. Right? So then why would she sit there and just proceed to just start braiding my hair without blow drying it? That's rare for negative number one. Girl, you said it was going to blow dry. I feel like if you was, if you didn't need to blow dry, you shouldn't have said it was going to blow dry. Because I wanted you to blow dry. So, like, it would just, like, you can tell the difference between blow dry and, like, you know, combed out. Versus just, you know, regular, you know, hair. You, you can tell the difference. As a hairstylist, you can tell the difference. Everybody not, may not be able to tell, but as a hairstylist, you can tell the difference. And it's like, I wanted a certain look. She didn't do that. That's fine, cool and daddy, you know. As long as she can grip and she can get it right, that's fine. Now, she was breaking my hair a little too quickly for me. And that's like, I'm not one to complain, but it's like, 
girl, like, your stitch braids, like, uh, I couldn't even feel the stitches. You was just goddamn gripping. You were, I don't know what she was doing. She was going really, really fast, though. So I'm like, all right, maybe she's just a fast braider. How she doing my hair? She doing my hair. Then she get to the end, right? She asked me, do I have shears? And if y'all don't know what shears are, that's basically, you know, cosmetology shop for, like, scissors. So she's like, you know, you got some scissors, some shears. And I'm like, yeah, they over there. This girl proceeds to take the scissors <laughs> from out of my little bin and get the snip, snip, snipping away my flyways. Oh, um, ah, uh. baby, let me tell you something. Don't you ever in your life, and this goes to anybody out there, don't you ever in your life just start cutting somebody flyways, okay? Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's like loose hair that came out the braid, but it's like, baby, you should have gripped a little bit more tighter. It shouldn't be that much for you to be cutting. All you gotta do is get a little bit of mousse. Why are you cutting my hair? But you know what? I ain't, I should have said something. I should have spoke up, but I didn't. Because I was just like, one, it was kind of too late. Like, she literally just started. Chop, 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 chop. I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. So, boom. And this is what I got, y'all. I don't care what nobody say, me personally, I didn't like it. You feel me? It, it's my head, it's my opinion. I hated it. It didn't look nothing like the picture. They were big, they were bulky, and it just was not giving. However, when she showed me, I couldn't really tell the parts were for real. And like, I definitely did notice that it was, it looked a little, it, it wasn't giving. Like, but I couldn't tell how much it wasn't given until after she left. And then it's like, I didn't really like want to sit there and like, you know, try to actually critique her and do all that. Cause I'm just like, you know what, look, I still gotta get her for work. Let me go ahead and bust you out. Let me get you out the way. So, you know, that's when this, you know, my turn to be the hairstylist and she's the client. Thankfully, she was already braided down. All I had to do was, you know, just like clean her up a little bit. Cause she had had a wig on prior. So, you know, I took the wig off her and stuff like that. Then, you know, I'm cleaning her, cleaning her full hair, you know, getting where, you know, like, start my application process, put the little, you know, cap on. You know, do what you gotta do, you know, to lay a wig, you know. Band for an hour, it'll never fail. Band for an hour, mm-hmm, yeah, cool. But y'all, because she was already a hairstylist, what was, like, irking my nerves and pissing me off, because she kept trying to tell me what to do. Since you got your degree, and you know every fucking thing. It's like I get I'm a beginner, but baby, I ask you for all this, all this, all this advice. You feel me? Like, hush up, hush up, okay? I appreciate it, but hush up. Like, I don't need you taking the comb and doing this and trying to show. I didn't, I didn't ask. If I asked, I would have asked. I have asked people before, but I haven't asked you. So don't be, girl, stay in your lane. You're a client today. <laughs> You're my client. I'm the stylist. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so I want to say that happened, then, you know, as I'm doing hair, I'm doing hair, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get the wig on, y'all, so, this girl forehead is on humong, and it's no shade to the big forehead, the five, six, seven, ten thousand head foreheads out there, look, I got a three head, I don't know nothing about that, okay, I can't relate to none of them problems, but to my big forehead community, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But it's like, if you knew your forehead was big, why would you, why would you agree for me to put on this 13 by 4 when you know you need a 13 by 6? You know you needed a little bit, you know you needed the wig to be a little bit bigger. You know you needed more like pot and space. You know you needed more. And then, she's like, oh, well, you know, normally I do wear a 13 by 6, but I have a trick we can do. And I'm like, a trick? I don't know nothing about that. But you know, I'm like, all right, look, fine, I guess. What you gonna do? Girl, she said you got some shears, you got the scissors. I'm like, here we go with the scissors. Here we go with the scissors. Buki, what do, <laughs> what do you need these scissors for now? You about to cut me? I'm gonna cut you first. Yeah. But she like, just get the cut in the wig. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put a picture. This how, is this how she ended up cutting it. And I'm like, girl, you just performed surgery on this wig. What if I wanted it back? <laughs> what if I wanted to reuse it? But like, girl, girl you just cut this wig old into a bunch of stuff. 
all this to put it on your head. And at that moment, I knew right then and there, me and hair was not gonna last long. Cause baby, I'm not finna be the, that's too much. That's too much. It, girl, you should have just told me that you needed a bigger wig. You should have just provided the damn wig. I would have just did the service. But you feel me? I'm sitting over here struggling. Then it's like, her cutting it only kind of, for me, it made it worse. And it made it harder for me because it's like, okay, cool. You know, I got the wig on your head. But now we'll look all crazy from the size because we done cut it a bunch of thousand ways. So now I got to sit here and sew and doctor it up more. And I'm just like, baby, I ain't signed up for this. I did it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Then on top of that, the wig was 20 inches. So you telling me I got this huge forehead. 20 inches of a wig. Girl, that wig stopped like right here on her. Okay? That I don't even think it was 20 inches. Look, it was an Amazon wig. It was a cheap Amazon look, okay? But I'm just like, that wig didn't even, it didn't even go past the nips. Like, it didn't even, it was not giving. Then, we was trying to like, you know, curl it and style it and do this type of little, I'm gonna put a picture of what we was trying to do. It wasn't like that. But y'all, it just was not giving. So I'm sitting over here trying, trying, trying. But it's like, you know, time going by, time going by. And she keeps trying to help me. And I'm like, Buki, you keep sitting over here telling me to do this, do that, do this, do that. You don't even know how to do hair for real, for real. How you gonna tell me how to do hair for real, for real? Girl, we both, but it's looking like we both don't know what we doing, y'all. We both sitting over here struggling. We both upset. Like, we both, y'all, we getting irritated together. It's like, girl, you upset, I'm upset too. So, whew. Spooky. It's okay. We gonna figure this out. But we didn't figure it out because you know I I go like I kept looking over at the mirror and I kept seeing how messed up my hair looked and I'm just like you know I could try to fix this wig and make it all mm, no I'm like you know what I'm tired I don't even care about how you look you didn't care about how I looked you played in my head so I played back in yours mwah no loss <laughs> but y'all like you feel me I, <laughs> this was just one of the moments where i just knew doing hair wasn't gonna last long because i ain't know it was all of this that you had to do with doing wigs you feel me i like i don't mind dying like i feel like even if i was to like continue to do wigs i would definitely be like a wig customizer like Baby, I can dye, I can color. One thing, I can color a wig all day long. I can put it on you too. But that about wraps up today's video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I love you guys. And until next time, bye bookies.